Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is the Dolphin Star Temple and my name is Inge van Strale and I am president of the board of the Dolphin Star Temple and I am here today with Cherie and Cherie is in our office in Mount Chester, California in the US. Shuri, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, um, thank you, Inga. I am in the home office here in Mount Shasta, California in the United States. And I've been with Dolphin Star Temple over six years now. Um, I love being a part of this amazing organization. And your, when you communicate with our home office, you get me. <laughs> That's so lovely for, for everyone to kind of finally see the face behind all the emails and all the messages. This yes. is her wonderful Cherie, and we wouldn't be nowhere without her. Thank you. And of <laughs> course, you know, you are the one that receives all the messages, all the questions. And we thought it would be a great opportunity to answer some of those questions that come up a lot. So Cherie, take it away. Well, gosh, thank you, Inga. One of the very first questions that um, inspired uh, me to ask of you um, was, do we teach channeling? You know, we do a lot of channeling in our meditations, and it's just not clear how we do it and what we're all about in regards to channeling. Okay. Well, first of all, it's a wonderful question, and but it, it entails so much, you know, there's so much in that one question. Um, mm. You know, first of all, let's just look at channeling as such, because, you know, channeling, we use it so often or, you know, in the spiritual community, it's used a lot. But what exactly is it that we define, you know, as channeling? In the Dolphin Star Temple, for us, it's really receiving messages, talking to uh, yeah, light beings, so to speak. And so in, in that sense, yeah, we do teach channeling in, in, in the sense that we learn to communicate with light beings, you know, with ascended masters, star beings, angels, and what have you, you know, over lighting devas, uh, so you get the tools to communicate with these beings. Um, but if you define channeling as really opening your body to receive, you know, uh, and well, what I would call an entity or a light being really into your body and let them use your, your voice in your body. Uh, no, that's not the way of the Dolphin Star Temple. So is that what's called like full bottle body channeling? I, I think, yeah, I think you, you would okay. call it that as for uh, Pleiadian light work, Dolphin Star Temple, you learn to control your, to master your own energy and to really open up your channels to, to communicate with other beings. And so you are master of your own energy. And, you know, you do not surrender your own sovereignty, your own empowerment to another being. And, you know, why, well, you know, and, and it, it's different for different people. Uh, for some people, it works really well. But for us, because we learn also all these healing techniques, you know, you don't want to take everything into your own body. You want to know how to keep everything outside of your energy field and you know you will sometimes feel it but you will not take it in and that is one of the key things you know to keep it out of your energy while still communicating what did did amora do full body channeling no i actually uh actually she also said you know that to keep it out of you know your body to to not I you know, not let any foreign energy enter yeah, your, your own sovereignty, your, your, your space. And really, 
um, of course, you know, we, we do merge with beings, but then, you know, they, they, uh, it is with your higher self, your higher self energy. We blend with that because, you know, our higher self is really another part of us. So you, you know, really that, don't give up your own space. You don't, no, you don't give up any part of who you are. Gotcha. So uh, it's, yeah. So that's, that, that's the difference. And, you know, of course you will feel like these healing energies mm -hmm. from, uh, from the angels, the Senate master, but those are just, you know, they do some healing, they perform healing techniques or uh frequency they, they they send healing frequencies to you that's a wonderful um explanation thank you so much for answering that question now um i suppose that leads to the basic question is what is palladium light work <laughs> you know i mean that's like the most fundamental question that we get is what is it you know what are these star beings what what's this all about yeah, well, actually, Pleiadian light work is part of the Dolphin Star Temple Mystery School. It's just one, uh, yeah, it, it's one of that path of ascension, ascension path. And uh, what we teach in Pleiadian light work is to, well, master your own energy and to open yourself up well and then it's we are talking about opening up again of course but really <laughs> to clear our our channels our energy fields you know physical emotional etheric mental spiritual astral you know all these things our, our multi-dimensional cells we, we clear it as much as possible to let in our own higher frequency so our higher self in energy and we one of the purposes of Pleiadian light work is to embody as much higher self energy as possible mm -hmm. to really let it, you know, into your body to, to, well, to embody it. So to be it. So in the trainings, do you learn how to do that? Yeah. And you learn also how to clear all the traumas, the, the patterns, and, and, and what have you, that are keeping you from receiving or stepping into that full uh, alignment, so to speak, mm -hmm. with your higher self. So if I haven't had the trainings yet, and I'm just new into this whole Pleiadian light work world, and Dolphin Star Temple, um, just inspired me to look into this a bit further. Where would you start? I guess, well, there, there, there are a couple of entry points. You could always start with reading Amora's books. And uh, mm -hmm. the Pleiadian workbook is an excellent start. Or you could also book a session with one of our Pleiadian light workers. Okay. And they're all on our website. So every, all the uh, certified Pleiadian light workers are, yeah, can be found okay. on our website. So if, um, if you were to start reading the book, would you suggest to do the exercises without having a guide? Or would you use the meditations that go along with the books? Or how would you approach it if, you're, if this is all really new to you? Personally, I would say, yeah, start with the books and do the meditations, you know, the exercises in the book, you know, those are really like the core of Pleiadian light work. That's the basic. So when you have, once you've mastered that, you know, it, it will teach you the beginnings of mastery of your own energy. So, okay, uh, you know, uh, I will let this in and I will not let that in to, to allow you to make that choice to clear it, to clear, yeah, your energy and uh, the energy of other people or other beings that come in. 
Okay. Speaking of other beings that come in, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Do you want no, to finish? No, it's okay. Off? No, it's okay. Um, it, it, we um, uh, do get questions um, with people that are challenged with um, possessions or uh, energies outside themselves having a big influence on their life. And um, how, how does Dolphin Star Temple work with that? um i'm not sure if i understand i mean do we do like depossessions do we do clearings of that type of thing we do we do yeah and it, it all also depends on what the practitioner of pleading light work specializes in of course and what they feel comfortable with but yeah within pleading light work we do look at those well the lower frequencies, the lower vibrational okay. frequencies. And you learn if, if you do the training or if you uh, reach out to one of our certified practitioners, they will have the tools to help you along. Okay, got it. Great. That's really, really good to know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it comes up a lot for people. Yeah, I can imagine. It seems. I can so imagine. in regards to the trainings, um, is there a specific order that they need to be done in? Or how, how does um, Dolphin Star Temple Mystery School work um, as far as being a student, say, for example? Okay. Well, first you start with the full sensory perception training. The Pleiadian okay, and that's like, the that's FSP. FSP, yeah. That's okay. where you learn how to give sessions, how to communicate clearly. And well, what we said before, you know, we were talking about mastery of mm -hmm. your, your own energy. That's, you know, what you learn there. So giving sessions, how to work with all the techniques. And that that really is, you know, about clearing and well, of course, receiving activations to do the right clearings and opening of uh yeah opening certain connections higher self connections uh kundalini channels all the all those things so so it's is not that just, you, is that what you mean when you say ka channel no i i was talking about kundalini okay so that's different than because i've read that in the books and um Maybe you could answer that next about what that is. Yeah, that is, that is the second part of the training. So it's more like the advanced training. It's called the Pleiadian Lightwork Intensives, PLI. Okay. And that's where you open the Ka channels. That's really more your, to me, it always feels like really letting your soul and your multidimensional self in into your body okay. those sound amazing <laughs> it, it is it's, it's so yeah i love the work and i am so passionate about it and i truly think it could benefit so many people it could really help yeah humanity along so if somebody's looking to have a session what i mean i I would imagine that it would probably vary from uh, practitioner to practitioner, but like, what would somebody come to you for if they want to have a session and what would that look like? For me personally, well, it, it cause it de depends uh, on the person really, you know, um, uh, it, or uh, on the person and on a practitioner. So, you know, you could come to a practitioner with a specific issue that you have. You know, if there's a theme in your life, a pattern that you cannot get out of, you know, you feel stuck okay. in and you want some clarity and help to transform that pattern, you could, you know, reach out to a practitioner or, at, you know, what we talked about before, you know, the, the, like the darker vibrational energies, the lower mm -hmm. vibrational energies, if you, you know, you're scared of that, or, you know, you feel like they're stuck, you know, to your energy field, 
that is also like something that you could have or you know yeah and then you know it could be past lives it could be higher self connections you know chakras you know there's so many things that could you know happen in 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 a session but i i think for pleiadian lightwork session the essence is that it's not just information or not just healing you know uh, sometimes you uh, it can be just a healing session you know someone just just that's not <laughs> that's not very respectful <laughs> I, and i don't mean it like that because it can be so powerful but you know someone runs energy or you know through them or you know connects you to this very high vibrational frequency um but in pleiadian light work typically you get answers and you know what is why is this happening so you get like okay you know this is the pattern this is what what is happening and why you attract this and then you know we don't leave you hanging but we'll help you you know make make steps to get out of that that pattern to break out of it so that it sounds so wonderful <laughs> <laughs> sign me up sign me up <laughs> how long have you been doing pleadian light work i think 16 years since i graduated so 16 17 years oh my goodness i know oh <laughs> it's been a um, while but it's what go ahead no it, it, it's wonderful i love it um one uh last question i i mean i appreciate your time so much and there's so many more to still even ask we can do um, another interview or you know a, a q a I mean, session i have a whole list here right here on my desk we can make um, this a regular thing <laughs> i would love that a coffee with inga and she yeah. <laughs> well it's tea um, actually <laughs> well mine's coffee but today it's tea <laughs> Um, what, what is a mystery school? You know, that's, um, that's a really basic question that I know is, uh, has a lot more to it than just a few lines of an answer. And, um, uh, you know, from what I've gathered, um, there's an element of it, uh, being, uh, initiatic, that there's an initiation process, that goes with being part of a mystery school. Um, do you have any thoughts or anything you could share about that? To me, yeah, a mystery school is a path. Mm -hmm. So it's not just uh, a training. Okay. It's, it's not a training, but it, it sets you on a path a path of initiations, a path of activations and clearings. But it also brings you back to you and personal responsibility. And it has uh, this notion of impeccability, living mm -hmm. impeccably or, you know, and, and of course, for a lot of people, including me, I'm not there yet, <laughs> but, you know, here. <laughs> <laughs> but it is, you know, it's, it's the ethics of it, you know, to really strive to live as ethically as you possibly can uh, impeccably. So it's not just a training for, uh, you know, how to give sessions mm -hmm. and how to talk to light beings, but it also invites you to put those practices the, the, those teachings into practice in your daily life to live it not just to to receive it and say okay yes that's beautiful and you know do it in meditation but really apply it in everyday life to live the teachings and that and as such the double star temple mystery school is one of the paths to ascension full body ascension amara kuan yin called it so really to be enlightened in a physical body to bring that here on earth oh, 
such a beautiful explanation. Thank you so much for that. Uh, there's so much mystery to unpack around all of this. I know. For sure. For sure. Oh my goodness. I thank you so much for your time today. You and are so your, welcome. your wisdom and your information. And um, I'm just so um, honored and uh, inspired by you as the president of Dolphin Star Temple and um, the things that you're doing to make a big difference in this world. Yeah. Thank you so much well and it's not just me it's you know all the board members it's all our teachers and all our pr practitioners that mm -hmm. are you know in the world really trying to make that difference you know and and sometimes you know they may not even mention the dolphin star temple mystery school as such but they are you know palladian light workers they are connected to these teachings and and they're still you know going out into the world trying to make a difference so yeah it's not just me it's a big group of light workers that are trying to do this and yeah, you know because we're sure. in this together for sure we need to come. and it, which you know i wanted to make sure and mention everybody um that they know about the uh, weekly global meditations mm -hmm. that we've been doing um, and that they are going to be on our YouTube channel. We have um, a portion of them at this moment on there, but um, uh, in the near future, there's going to be all of them. And um, that has been a wonderful thing that we've been doing since COVID um, to give back to the world and uh, requesting that um, there's participation in that so that we can co-create this harmony and uh, change the vibration of what's going on in ourselves and also um, for the entire planet. Exactly, exactly. So I just wanted to remind everybody that that is something that we are doing um, and it's a wonderful opportunity to also get to know our different uh, teachers um, that we have that we invite to do this. So yep. pretty wonderful. Yeah, check it out. Also, yeah, check out our YouTube channel, our Instagram page and our fa mm -hmm. Facebook page. And also, you know, our website, www.dolphinstartemple.org. <laughs> yeah, and cool. there you can find all the teachers, all the practitioners. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So wonderful. Recap. And all also right. the books. And the books, yeah, the web and the meditations, <laughs> the meditation, yeah, we have MP3s there, uh, yeah, uh, that you can download. So, still teachings and meditations by Amora Kuan herself, and mm -hmm. yeah, so check it out. And, and if anybody ever has any questions, please feel free to email me at info at dolphinstartemple.org. I'd be happy to assist. Yeah, <laughs> and maybe we'll answer them in the next video good idea all right <laughs> thank you everyone thank you inga bye-bye have a good day